Well, we find ourselves in a little bit of a weird spot where we really, I really want to get Ito and Aruna's story done because we're at the point in the story where they really need to come back because the, the capital, arriving at the capital is where I wanted it, everyone to be reunited and people to have all their, the revelations of what's going on figured out. Um, and with Gen and Karakwa and Aruna and Ito and all the stuff they found out within the Feywild. So, uh, we are, since we're shorthanded today, we are going to just finish that off. I don't think it will take that long. Um, but who the fuck knows, honestly? It's, you know, the type of thing that I guess it depends on the, how the dice roll and what y'all decide to do. That sort of thing. Uh. I really wish... I don't like the I don't like Foundation's new update to their music. All right, um, Ito and Aruna. Last time, after having managed to narrowly well, I wouldn't say narrowly, having managed to escape the Winter Court and aid in the escape the Winter Court, to a werebear infiltrator that had unfortunately been caught out whenever the uh, Winter Court's ever-present moon had gone into its full moon phase. And he had been forced to transform a bear, run away from hunters, managed to divert their path and save them and save him. And he helped lead you back to the Autumn Court and a grateful bear king, um, you know, fed you, warmed you, laundered your clothes... But he also asks something of a favor of you, Way. He himself does not know exactly what is going on inside the court of the Winter King, or the Moonlit King, the, the Gloaming Court. He, he's not quite sure, and he wants to find out. You know, something important is happening. He's noticed there are a lot more traffic uh, within the uh, halls of the Moonlit Court. But he's not 100% sure exactly what is going on. That was the point of his initial, uh, of sending his, uh, uh, his werebear in, hopefully, to find out. Unfortunately, werebear was unable to find out what happened. So now he's sending his next best option. You, accompanied by the quickling keys be. Um... Keesby, you've been in the court of the Bear King for quite a lot while. He's always shown tremendous kindness to the quicklings and to the animals, always opening up his great uh, larders and holding feasts as best as he can. And so, you, within your heart, you feel a little bit of dread as slowly you walk towards... Well, you not so slowly. You keep having to dart forward and dart back as Aruna and Ito, to your mind, walk slowly towards the Winter Court as the ever-present evening and autumn of the, or evening and uh, sort of dusk of the Autumn Court slowly darken from purples and oranges to dark blues and blacks as the stars stud the sky above you. The moon slowly rises. No longer a full moon, you would note Ito or Aruna. Now it's more of a waning gibbous, um, as a portion of it has disappeared. It seems that um, the, even though the moon is ever-present in the sky of the Winter Court, it is always cycling through its lunar phases. The air grows cold, and you can't help but shiver despite the cold, uh, warm, the sort of enchanted warm weather clothes that the Bear King gave you. Your cloaks that were made of beautiful sort of autumn foliage of leaves of bright red and orange and yellows and browns all seem to dull and die away, becoming brown leaves that resemble little more than leather as you advance deeper and deeper. The trees themselves have lost most of their foliage. The only green you are able to see is the evergreen spruces that spring up in and amongst the gray sort of 
gnarled woods around you. Soon the snow becomes dense on the ground. You, uh, uh, Keesby is able to sort of, with surprising ease, dart across the top of the snow, leaving little more than uh, flutters in it like a bird's wings. Um, but you kind of are stuck trudging through it in places. Keesby knows where to go. There's perhaps an innate sense with him within him as a fey creature, a member of the courts, that tells him what direction to go in. As he moves on pretty steadily, saying, Come on, come on, it's this way! As the sun ri or the sun, the moon rises higher and higher in the sky, you know that you are getting close. The first thing you come across that is really more than just darkened woods is what appears to be a guardhouse of some kind. A tower where you can see there's a small fire burning within. Two members of the Winter Court, clearly a ladrin, the Winter Court. Stand a lazy guard out front, their heads tipped down. Both of them have what appears to be a like a, a hand of cards in their hands, and they're throwing cards down on a nearby barrel. As uh, first one throws down a card, and the next one slams down a card on top of him, saying, I win, you fool. Uh, what do you do? Do you try to skirt around them, or do you just plow head for, head for through there? I'm curious, how long did it take us to get here? Uh, you don't know. That's the thing. About, that's a weird thing about the Feywild. You have no right. clue. Um, you're um, not. You you don't feel super tired. I, he's be can do his thing, but I don't think we should be sneaking. Necessarily, um, I'm gonna just keep it. Keep with the, I am the three. Sneaking. The three of you stand. Aruna, you are adorned beautifully, almost in a noble, while Ito is clad in rough burlap to cover any, uh, to, in the form of a peasant, he meaning to be your servant, um, at the suggestion of the Bear King, because a human would not be allowed in the Winter Courts otherwise. That's one of the fun things. Ito is, is a servant now. He has to pose as a, as a lowly servant to Aruna, because humans would probably not be super welcome. Excellent. I mean, the Bear King gave him like a like a sort of burlap clothing and a cloak. Yeah, I mean, I will just keep trudging forward because we're going for a cover story, more so than a sneaking operation. Keesby is sneaking. Uh, Keesby, give, Keesby is sneaking. Give me a stealth check. You should be exceedingly good at this. Uh, Thirty-one. You, so you do have advantage. So, all right. I have Thirty-one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It becomes it clear becomes... that this is, um, whenever you immer head towards the light of the guardhouse, this is the closest thing to a road there is within the Feywild, as their area, at least here, has been cleared for the most part to allow transportation. Um, likely a wagon cr cross across this area, although it would not be as smooth or as pleasant as Cobblestone Road or something like that. You are able to easily dart from tree to tree in the darkness, um, and they have no clue that you were there, despite their the fact that they are used to this sort of setting and they can see in the dark. Um, you find yourself very easily find basically nestled between two trees, um, the darkness completely shielding you from the moonlight above. Aruna, you make no such precautions and very likely don't need to. As uh, you merely uh, walk your, find your way, stepping out into this lane, this avenue, this road, um, before the two guards, um, as they almost immediately, their hands snap to what appears to be short swords and short bows, um, eyeing you warily at first, as one of them says, "Oh, oh, oi! Who goes there?" Uh, just weary. Travelers, we had uh, some gentlemen that were hunting a very unruly bear in the forest uh, just told us to 
head this way for refuge. We unfortunately spent the night out in the wilds, and it was uh, not exactly pleasant. They sort of size you up, um, and uh, one appears to be a little bit more in charge. Um, as he seems to take a step forward, he is in a ladrin that has sort of almost pale silver, silver skin and very long silver hair. He almost seems to glisten in the light. Um, as he raises an eyebrow to you and says, It's a likely story. Even so, it's all sorts of strange infiltrators and sorts trying to get into the court of the Moonlit King. We can't be too trustworthy now, can we, darling? Um, as he sort of leers over you, he's probably a foot taller than you are. Um, mm -hmm. But, at the same time, the smaller man just sort of says, she can't be serious. Look at her. Of course she's supposed to be in the moonlit court. I mean, I don't want to upset anyone. Would you def Jeffren? The mere appearance of you, Aruna, mm -hmm. has seemed to set them a little bit on edge. What are you doing outside the halls of the Moonlit King? No, it's not safe for your kind out here. I thought all well, of you was inside. Well, just unfortunate spot of bad luck. Um... I like to wander a little more than my for my own good and wandering well, suspicious. My... You understand? Well. Yes. Come on, Jeffro. You know they're supposed to be here. I mean, look at her. Look at her. Ali is himself. Are you disguised? I'm probably just dressed up nicer. Than he's I he's just a really nice looking moon elf. Okay. Don't want to upset anybody, right? It seems the goading of this uh, subordinate causes Jeffro, the elf that was the Eladrin that was uh, interrogating you, to back down a little bit. Well, um, I'll make sure on your watch, especially not to go wandering around so much anymore. I was, well, I'll be honest with you. Disciplining of servants is not something I like to do in front of people, so we kind of wandered out in the woods to do it and got lost. Roll a deception check. I do a little bit better. Can I like, can I like look demurely at the floor to add credence to what she just said? Sure, make a performance check. <laughs> Actually, on that note, can Ito look demurely? Make a performance check. Hell yeah, yeah. Pretty good, though. Sheet open. Performance, not persuade. Performance, yes. You're trying to make yourself seem dumber and eleven. That's pretty high for such a low roll. Still, is not super high. Mm -hmm. They look at you and the guard Jeffro, this main guard that was been interrogating. He sort of narrows his eyes and says. All right, look, just try to stay within the safety of the walls. It's not safe out here. I hear they were chasing, like I said, chasing a bear, were bear of some sorts, infiltrator of that bastard, the Bear King. Well, we luckily didn't see the bear, but we saw the tracks and uh, the gentleman chasing him. Huh. So, so, well. Just be appreciative you only ran into an agent of the Bear King. You ran into the Queen of Witches. Well, be shit out of luck. She is a nasty sort. So head on your way and get to the safety. Will do. Will do. And I'll, like, kick Etho in the shin and tell him, get your ass moving. Could I, uh, walk away <laughs> 
perhaps the bears what the odd noise we heard earlier as we continue on our way. As like a throwaway line of dialogue. Or you can. You continue past. Now you walk along the road. Keysby is not where you can see him, but you do know he is in close in tow. Um, as he darts from tree to tree. The way is actually fairly easy at this point. Despite the fact that it doesn't seem like the ground has been cleared, the road itself, the snow upon it is no more than the ankle deep in some places, less in others. The trees cleared away. As you walk ever and ever closer, the center of the winter court, the moon rises in the sky. Sending cascading rays of silvery light down upon you that seem to glitter across a sparkling landscape of diamond dust snow. Hmm. Keysby, no, it's unpleasantly cold to you, but the um, bear king before you left has armed, like I say, he's girded you in all sorts of clothing that makes you resistant to the extreme effects of the cold. Um, because if you Do didn't I have see it, anyone else around, roll a perception check. Oh my god, my perception is bad. Holy shit, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your perception is bad, but you have advantage on this because you have a cloak of elven kind. You oh, can see oh. these guards didn't buy their story, they're following. They found something suspicious in the story that they told. It seems they were not nearly as persuasive as they thought. One of the guards is tailing both Aruna and Ito. Hmm. I don't have a way to let them know, I don't think, without revealing myself. You, I, I was say, there is a way. Before the Bear King set them off, they gave, uh, bags of, a bag of four berries. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Okay. I was just about to ask that question. And, I and, and if you, uh, and, uh, how, I don't know exactly how you spread it out, but if you eat one of those berries, you can cast Sending. Um, that oh, can okay. only we be... We decided not to do it, Tommy is too. But, but, I didn't hear what, I didn't hear what you said, Connor. I, I, we decided that I have two and Tommy has two. Okay. Um, so they do have ways. Uh, okay, so Can you don't I have one. Can I try and pickpocket one of those from them while still moving quickly? Sure, but it'd be a sleight of hand with disadvantage. Okay. Um, sleight of hand. 16. Uh, who are you trying to pickpocket it from? Uh, Aruna. Aruna, what's your passive perception? Oh, baby. Um, higher than mine. Probably. What was it? I'm, I'm looking. I'm sorry. It's just 10 plus your perception. Oh, oh you, 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 you. Perception is plus 5, so 15. Alright. Uh, so, it is unlikely that... Um, Aruda notices as you sort of dart away uh, to her and uh, grab it out out of your her bag. However, um, let me roll to see if they see you because you would have had to tempor temporarily move from cover because, like I said, they're walking up what is essentially a road now. Um, and you do wait for the opportune point um, as the trees narrow together, uh, making the road a little more than maybe six, seven feet apart here. Just wide enough for a wagon to maybe squeeze through, you dart through. And after you grab it, you pause for a second and look back and see the guard is continuing on his way, tailing you, but has not seen you. Okay. So I eat the berry. Once I'm in, like, some pretty deep cover, I, like, climb up in a tree and hide, and I, uh, I eat it, and you sending... Uh, to tell Aruna that we are being tailed, both guards following. Be careful. 
Just one guard following. Oh, one, excuse me, one guard following. Do, can I tell which one? Uh, it looks like uh, Jeffro is following, the more so suspicious the, of the guards. Yeah, so I tell them, suspicious guard following, then. Yeah. You gotta say it in the voice. You gotta do the voice, Nick. I'll, I'll do the voice in a minute. Uh, he himself, uh, you, Ito and Aruna, you have not noticed him so far. Um, okay. He, okay. pretty, he's pretty stealthy, actually. Okay. Uh, PZ, either I'm going to run distraction or you're going to run distraction. Okay. Uh, I know I can't get a response. Uh, I'm unless, unless you, words. unless you want to take a berry and send it, or you have sending to cast. I do have something to cast, but I won't. That's it all I'll say. Is a, or or I guess technically a runa could send a message. Okay. Uh, then. I I will look for the guy like over my shoulder now that. Uh, all right, make point. a perception check. Ah, damn it! Nope, don't see him. He blends in with the snow. Okay, I will scoot back to where Ito is a little bit. Did and you I tell will... did you tell me that with message though that yeah, one I just of us sent, needs to run distraction? I sent the response to sending. Okay. Someone's gonna have to run distraction. But I'll like go back to Ito and look like I'm yelling at him for getting me in trouble and be like Ito, someone's following us. I, I will, can't see them. I will message Aruna and remind her that I can cast message as well. Well shit, that would have been handy. <laughs> Uh, I'll be like As I said truth be, <laughs> truth be told of our party members We're probably the best ones to do this Alright so what okay. um, Are you just continuing on ignoring it Or um, What's the exact distraction How close are we to like Actual like buildings and stuff where other people can see us you don't see any, but you see at this point the moon is nearing its zenith, and you did hear that uh, within the uh, the moon at the center of it, where basically where the court of the Moonlit King is, is completely at the highest. So you know you must be getting close. Sorry, give me one second. Okay. Can I? Uh... I also have an idea. So you go first there, because I did tell you to do that. Or actually... I'm gonna try and circle back behind him and uh, make some noise and uh, like some breaking of branches in the trees. Alright, just try and distract him, yeah. Yeah, just general distraction of uh, like some noises. Right, give me a but I don't, I also don't want to reveal myself. Give me another stealth check. This time with disadvantage. Because uh, you're doing the sort of snapping and, and trying to catch his attention while also maintaining, you know, your own self. It does cause him to pause as he hears the snapping of trees around him. Okay. Snapping can of I... branches. Yes. Can I hear that too? Like from... Make, like... make a perception <laughs> check with disadvantage. Sorry guys, give me a second. I gotta do You do not hear it. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Keysby, right Keysby. I, got, I got to do parent stuff. Okay. Yep. Keysby, you snap the branches and sort of try to dart away to the a nearby shadow of a tree as his eyes scan. He sort of looks at the area. And you see his eyes immediately dart on you. He says, he draws his short sword and says, Quickling scum! As he did see you. Um, his charts Damn. charging after you. Uh... Uh, I can... Okay. So I want to... And you do hear this, Aruna, as he said, you hear him uh, a shout that cries out, Quickling scum! Okay, I'll be like, Quicklings! Uh, and act panicked, and just bolt with Ito down the road. <laughs> I'm going to... <laughs> I don't know if this is, like, in, like, combat, but I kind of want to... I go dash is an action, and then, uh, what you call it, then, uh, hot, then hide go ahead with and, my cunning action. Go ahead and, uh, uh, roll, roll a d20. I'll see whose initiative goes first. He got a 19, so. Damn. Uh, 
he charges the ground and uh, he's going to uh, you are a pretty fair distance away um, and he's not able to catch up to you but he does throw a dagger at you as he does uh, as he closes in but it is only gonna be a uh, 16 versus armor class that will hit me uh, you take 10 points of slap pierce of uh, slashing damage. is that is that what the disadvantage thing that they have against me that is true he does have disadvantage oh it's only gonna be a 15 fuck get fucked <laughs> it does not uh, hit he me. rolls one lower on the disadvantage um as you sprint away 10 points of damage would have been a massive amount of damage for you yeah yeah what happened that's why i was like hey hey wait 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 hold on uh but that is enough to uh he is unable to close the distance if you turn and sprint away um you can so, absolutely leave him behind i imagine what i was doing when i was snapping the branches i was snapping them like i went a little bit behind him and then running away i initially run just into woods yeah and then my dash i dash forward back towards aruna yeah, you're, do, you're doing you're like circling towards him so you're gonna have to yeah. make a long circle around them but yeah, it yeah. does pull him in the in the opposite direction it's gonna it'll take you a little bit a little while to get back to him because you're gonna have to do like a wide circle yeah yeah so uh, I, I do that but you have managed to avoid him you know completely catching up to you as he, he runs after you he has no chance of catching up with you if you just focus on running the fuck away yeah cool I use the ancient Joe Star technique with Ido and Ru and uh, hurriedly move in the other direction. Uh, so that will temporarily remove Keysby, essentially. Um, yeah. As uh, Aruna, you see looming up from the snowy landscape. It's like the trees themselves fall away. You see beautiful ice sculptures. Um incredibly crafted depicting all sorts of scenes you see men atop great wyverns and they almost seem to float in the air as if by magic you see what appears to be almost like massive weapons some 20 feet tall that pierce the ground all carved out of ice you walk along an avenue towards what appears to be the court of the moonlit king massive walled structure made of glistening uh, marble that has to that seems to have silver veins that run through it and catch the moonlight it's an impressive sight it's a beautiful sight awesome sight as you make your way through these incredible ice sculptures towards it the gate itself the porticolis is not made of iron it's made of the same sort of dull blue ice that the sculpt ice sculptures are made of standing out front of it two aladrin one of which is you lou you've been put on guard duty it's a rather lower duty but one that you have to in a sense try to 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 get on try to be a part of because your presence allows the entrance of people that you want to enter however lou is lou here yes i'm here okay um you were sort of paired with a stickler a little bit of a fundamentalist an Aladrin that's always wanting to play by the book, that's always wanting to make sure everybody who's here is supposed to be here, even if that means they have to check with the proper authorities. His name is Rifkin, and nobody really likes him. That includes you, and not just because you <laughs> are him, him are of opposed mindsets. You being a implant of the Autumn Court, him being a fundamentalist of the Winter Court. Most people just find him prickly, annoying, wow. and <laughs> sort of young and naive and abrasive. Um, and as all of a sudden this moon elf with his lowly human servant approaches, he says, I hope that you have received proper clearance, good sir. We don't let merely anyone into our court. 
Especially not someone as lowly as you. As he sort of sneers at the human. Shit. Ito's not here, so I'll have to be Ito. Ito sort of does this. Sha! <laughs> Tries to distract him. He sa oh, Ito oh. says, I'll have you know I'm here on, on business of the Autumn Court. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh... Shit. Now, now, uh, let's at least hear them out before we turn them away. However, you have not seen Keysby at all, so you're, yeah. you're, um, because Keysby is doing the big loop around Keysby, you are not technically here with them yet. Okay. Anyway. I, I'm gonna put, put the hand on the hip, and I'll put up the one finger and be like, one, I'm late, and one of you has already made me later. Two, he may be a useless piece of shit human, but he can play a mean loot. Uh, and if that doesn't appease you, you can beat the shit out of him. And then I'll just try to walk in between them. Uh, you can roll an intimidation check. I'm so good at those. And roll it with advantage. Oh, thanks. It's a good thing. 16. <laughs> Alright. Well, it is a tempting offer. <laughs> Boy, I love human bashing time. Hey, hey, Horn. This is a moon elf. Moon Elves currently have a particularly elevated status within the court Moonlit King. Indeed, we definitely have uh, some going on there. Perhaps it might be best not to delay the lady any longer. Rifkin sort of frantically sort of says, but, but, pr Procedures, Hayhorn! We're supposed to make sure everyone who enters is vetted. Tell them to vet these nuts. And yes. if that and if that causes her to be even later than she already is, would you like to take the chance to annoy the uh, the moon elves? He looks at you. He he his like lips are pursed as he looks at you, and then he looks at her, looks back at you. He says. Fine, but 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 it's on your head if anything happens. And it'll be on yours if you make her later. You can see he almost bristles when you say that. Mm. You may proceed, lady, but mind your business and be on the rules. We don't want any funny business, especially not now. The Moonlit King is in a is in a certain way. Just yeah, to, just uh, keep going. Give it up. Keep walking. While they go past, I'm just gonna give uh, Ito a quick push with my foot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sort of see draws a, a little bit of approval from Rivkin. Um, as the mistreatment of a human. And Ito merely oh, holds his head down. Five. Uh, about this time, uh, and you can see the the iron the ice porticolis raises up. Keysby, about this time you do arrive. Keysby. You can see the ice porticolis is raising. Uh, you're about probably about 300 feet away from the area. Like I said, there's this big open area of snow and ice sculptures, um, and you have mo you have left the uh, uh, guard uh, behind. But now there is a 300 ex foot expanse to clear. As unfortunately, the ice porticolis is going sort of rising up, so it's going to be a short amount of time. You're going to have to dart into it. You'd be rolling stealth plane because it'd be disadvantaging, advantage balancing out advantage. Okay, uh, twenty. Twenty. All right. Uh, Hayhorn, roll a perception check. Perception. Uh, 14. Right. I draw penis, so... Do you... manage to dart from ice sculpture to ice sculpture? Clearing the ground as the iron port... or the iron porticolis... the ice porticolis slowly rises up into the sky. Soon... Soon, 
you're right outside it. Uh, basically, ducked behind an ice sculpture that appears to be a large, almost anvil that has an ice hammer that is slamming down on it. The ice itself having been beautifully crafted to almost resemble sparks that glitter with moonlight that are being cast off of it as the hammer slams down. Aruna and Gracie won't shut up. Gracie, I'm going to kill you. I'll be right back. I'm going to... Well, Aruna's not here. Oh, oh, here he comes. He's back. I'll be right back. I'm going to tell this dog to shut the fuck up. All right. Um, you're hiding behind an ice anvil, he's be, and the portacolis, you can see Aruna and Hito have passed through, and the, uh, the ice portacolis is slowly closing. As Hayhorn and Dard Rivkin have... Loud passage. What would you like right. to do? Would you try to like to try to dart quickly through, or perhaps find another way inside? Um. I guess I'm gonna try and dart quickly through. Are they facing the? They're, they're, they facing they're just sort of. of the gate, they're or? facing out of the gate. They're sort of keeping an eye on things. Okay. Go ahead and give me a persuasion. Uh, persuasion. A stealth check with disadvantage. Uh. That twenty nine would have been real good. A horn. <laughs> give me. Uh, uh. What is. Uh. Give me a wis A perception check, A horn. I mean, if it's twenty nine, I cannot be. No, that. it's a no. I got a fifteen. Oh. Yeah, disadvantage because he's 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 sprinting over open ground. I still miss it. Diggy why? Um, I got a nine. You see, <laughs> uh, you sort of screwing all college, watch Arino and up. Ito. A hayhorn says, "Did you see that?" <laughs> I swear I saw something. Just your mind, your eyes playing tricks on you. Just let it go. Oh, I'm sure of it. Absolutely sure of it. Something. Well, if you're can, certain, can I can I hear him hear say it, that? I'll go take a look. Pro probably. I don't know. Um, if you didn't, the road and if you didn't see anything, maybe I should go check. No, no, you're the one who wants to make sure everyone's okay. I'll I'll get this for you. Very well. But I want to report. And he says that as the lowest ranking member of the Gore, basically. I'll be sure to get right on that for you. <laughs> Fine. And with Fine. a roll of the eyes, I'm going to turn around and begin to walk in. Very well. Fine. Did I? Do I? Am I aware that there is an inside you're, person? You're, you're not. And you, also... you, you have been told there is an inside person. You don't know exactly don't, who. Don't know who it is. Did I was hey, I given hey, some hey, Horn, sort of way no. to check? No, you weren't. They you were said that they would find you. Um Hayhorn, however, has been told that He has also not been given his specifics beyond they would know. He would know. Um Hayhorn. Rivkin says I swear I saw a purple blue shadow that moved through here. As you walk past him, uh, you technically failed your. Uh, he technically passed your his perception roll against your stealth. So Rifkin saw you, uh, but he's not quite sure what he saw. And Hayhorn has convinced him, at the very least, enough that he should probably stay at the gate. The Hayhorn will investigate more. See. Um, Hayhorn. You've heard that the um, Rivkin saw kind of like a purple-blue shadow, almost like a blur that moved under the gate and sort of disappeared behind it. As you sort of step out into the court of the Winter King, it's a vast, it's basically like an estate. Um, there is a central courtyard and there are several sort of small, almost like buildings around. There's a local blacksmith. Tannery. It's basically like, I mean, it's, it's what you would expect of a castle and a bailey. 
Um, there's a villa. There's like a main central structure that is the castle itself, which is a defensive fortification that sits on a snowy hill. Um, the uh, and the the moon is directly above that. It's basically that standing inside the center of that is the center, the entire winter court. But beyond that, there's like a village that has all sorts of little structures, blacksmiths and you know, tailors and residences and things like that. So some of the lower ranking members of the winter of the Eladrin court, as well as their servants and things like that. And then, then there's the wall, which you came through. So you're currently in like the village portion of uh, the I'm central calling. castle. I'm going to walk Ziggy, but I'm going to, I'll pop in on my phone with my head, with some headphones and I should be able to Okay. Talk. I just want to and... be able to roll. Um, as you sort of walk from past the uh, uh, the ice porticolis, it's basically empty. Um, at this point, snow has begun to kind of fall from the sky. Um, a, ver a very light snow, essentially. Alright. Uh, but you don't see anything. You've only heard that they saw a shadow passing by. Rifkin, such, such a nuisance. I heard that. Shadows are everywhere in here. Just keep your eyes on the, on the road, young man. You're not my boss. You are his boss, technically. <laughs> anyway, I guess I will start heading forward to look through, look for, instead of the blue and purple shadow. Uh, yes. Go ahead and roll. Sure. Oh. Give me a perception check. Or, or, or if you want to... Roll, an, roll a history check or an insight check. Or a nature check. Know that I am terrible at all of those. I'll, I'll let you roll whichever Nine. is highest. History, insight, nature... They're all plus zero. Oof. <laughs> you don't know exactly what, but you do know there is a contact that is supposed to be coming into you. It is. It was an unusual meeting with Aruna and Ito. A moon elf yeah, outside the wall say, is, is strange. Why would they be outside the walls? They came, considering he saw the shadow just after them, yes. I was actually also going to start following them. It is extremely unusual. Like I said, a moon elf outside the wall is, is wildly unusual. They are... I mean, one of the big things that they are doing is... is trying to have their... Uh, their daughter being chose, chosen as the Snow Queen. Why the fuck would they want someone outside the walls? They're enjoying the power that has been granted to them as special basically privileged ones amongst the winter court it'd be absolutely insane to just walk outside of the uh, privilege essentially so that at the very least caught your attention and while you were able to absolutely divert the intention the sort of attentions of rivkin that does dwell within your mind as you continue turning and following aruna and ito aruna and ito you make your way up it's like a, it's as I described. It's like a beautiful snow-covered village, and you can see sort of the glow of orange lights through frosted windows um, that glitter across snow that almost appears to dance with silver sparkles from the almost full lit, full, sort of almost full moon above. However, the streets themselves are largely empty. Mm -hmm. A couple of Aladrin do go on their way. Um, most of them, when they see you, Aruna, they sort of bow their heads low. My lady? Surprisingly so, as if they're almost reverent to you. Does, does this seem like a bow that's supposed to be returned, or is it a... You can roll an like insight check. Person? Oh, boy. Actually, I'm actually pretty okay at that. That's pretty good, it's a 21. The way they're bowing at you, and the reverence they hold you within, you know that, you get the feeling that it's... Actually, um, the first time you kind of start to bow, 
but surprisingly, Ito almost nudges you the side with his elbow as uh, you quickly shoot back up. This is not a... Ito is familiar with the decorum of noble with less than noble. You give them a slight nod of the head to acknowledge their presence and continue on, and doing in doing so, Ito sort of nods his head in approval. You are a superior to them. You do not. When they bow to you, you don't bow back. You acknowledge it, but you don't bow back, because you're above that. Okay. Uh, as we're, like, doing our walk through the village, too, uh, I'm going to try to uh, get Bert to come back to me. Also, uh, because I sent him on a little scouting mission. Hopefully he's here. Uh, Bert is there. Uh, you're surprised to see you don't you barely have to even summon him as he is floating sort of fluttering along from rooftop to rooftop perched on there and you're surprised he's actually su surrounded by other animals crows owls ravens even the occasional blue jay you can roll an arcana check if you want yeah 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 damn 27 as you look at them, they also also they all seem intent as Bert is. Their eyes focused on the area around them. At the very, very, very likely, other magical familiars um, that are being used as scouts by other people in the Winter Court. I mean, it's not really that surprising considering the political nature of it. It's always good to have eyes out everywhere, and so it makes sense that all anyone that can summon a familiar would have familiars out watching always. And it seems you are the talk of the town. Despite the fact that you don't see people running out to you, you can see all along the uh, eaves of this small village as you approach the main central castle structure. Animals watching you. Familiars watching you. As e it, you're... Your arrival, it's impossible for it to be a surprise. Because every familiar, everyone that can summon a familiar that has eyes in this town is watching you. Yeah, it is it's very against my, my normal acting, but well, I, I will try to act very prim and proper and like I belong there. And, and you have not changed your appearance, have you? Nope. Roll a perception check with disadvantage. A 20. A 20 with disadvantage? Oh, sorry. I thought I did not hear uh, dis or advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, only a 10. A 10? Okay. Um, you continue upwards. And finally, you do see Keesby joins you. Um, You can see he, he makes himself at least known to you. Mm -hmm. You guys hear me? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I, make, I do make myself known. I, uh... I'm trying to be like really, really, really extra careful. Uh, okay, guys, sorry, I'm here. My uh, my shower heads is just acting insane, so I'm trying to rescue it. Yeah, that, that's okay. Eat, uh, Connor. Basically, the the big the thing you did was when uh, Aruna passed, uh, or this is what I assumed Ito would do as a mem uh, familiar familiar with nobility. When e when Aruna was unsure whether she should bow to someone or to someone that is technically her lesser, Ito like nudged her in the side. You don't you don't bow to someone lesser than you. You might you acknowledge them, but you do not bow to them equally. You just sort of nod your head yeah, to them. And Ito would supplicate himself immediately as yes, signs yes. of her. Um, to, to, to continue the the sort of charade. Mm -hmm. I'll hey, be back as soon as I can. Okay. A hayhorn. At this point yeah. you've been sort of You've seen the shadow, you, or you've not seen the shadow, but you know that it appeared. And it immediately happened after this moon elf and her servant came in. And so you've been tailing them. Not particularly closely, but maybe a bit curiously. Um, for the convenience of the situation, it's probably <laughs> about this time that you see uh, Aruna and Ito acknowledge what appears to be a sort of turn, and you see what appears to be a quickling, well-guarded, well-shadowed, um, hiding within the, basically, um, in the shadow of what appears to be 
a blacksmith. You can, much like Aruna, you know that there are eyes all around you. Um, so you you are smarter than to just run up and say anything, but you get the, uh, you do see a quickling, and you know that a quickling was essentially your contact. Well then, let's see. Quickly use my contact, not them. I'm just trying to. Have I seen that the quickling is with them? You or... have at the very least seen the quickling is following them, and they. It seems like they've the two have acknowledged the presence of each other. Okay. <clears throat> In that case, I'm going to go. Hey, hard, you old fool! As all of a sudden, a Eladra sort of walks up and pats you on the back. How have you been? As he's sort of... You can see he's clearly a little bit drunk having attended the Icicle, which is a nearby tavern. The only tavern within the village, at the very least, as he sort of smiles at you. He even lifts up what appears to be a bottle of mead. Says, you want a drink, you old salty dog? Not not quite tonight, although I can say I was doing much better before I got to smell your drunken breath. The old sod. That hurts my feelings a little bit. I haven't had that much to drink. Please, I could have smelled you down the road. Weren't you on gate duty tonight, Hayhorn? Oh, oh, it's no problem at all. Rifkin's got all that solved. <laughs> I hate that guy. Such an asshole. Hey. But it's why I know I can do this freely without having to worry. You wanna go throw rocks at him like we used to? Maybe another time, another place. I have a VIP that I need to take care of tonight. Roll a uh, persuasion check with advantage. Well, that'll be an 18. Alright. I'm gonna go throw rocks at Rivkin. You take care of your VIP. Make sure to throw a couple extra for me. Oh, it's gonna be funny. I'm gonna throw him off in the distance and make him think someone's sneaking up on him. Uh, and he sort of darts away and sort of waves his hand. As you can... Uh, that's just a, a brief encounter. As someone sort of Pats you on the back. You've been here for a while, Hayhorn, so it's not exactly surprising. As you turn your right. attentions on, back to the matter at hand. So then, uh, <clears throat> Hayhorn will begin to walk up to Ito and Aruna. My lady, what are you doing out here this time of... What time is it, anyway? <laughs> there is no time. Oh, That's yeah. the thing about the uh, uh, yeah. the Winter Court. Things and the Feywild, things are not decided on a material plane 24-hour basis. When you get tired, you sleep. When you're not tired, you do things. Within what the, are you doing out here? Uh, within, within the so winter, much going on, so many things to get settled. Within the Winter Court, there is a... Uh, you can actually... Def you, there is some time, but that is defined by the phases of the moon. Now the moon, the face of the moon, typically the full moon lasts for twice as long as the other phases, however. And uh, the new moon uh, lasts for half as long. That is how time is measured within the moonlit court. Oh, hell yeah. Prepare, prepare to get treated poorly, my friend. So it, it is, it is, it's, it's weird. Like I said, the Feywild's time is fucked up. It's oh, all messed up. I'll wheel around like I'm gonna fucking backhand him with the with the arcane brace. I'll be like, she, I think. Do you remember the arcane the, the arcane brace? Yeah, we. Oh, I haven't gotten a chance to put my runes on it. Fuck. Um, but I do turn around like oh I'm. Oh my gosh, you remember the beardling's guide to runesmithing? 
I haven't gotten the, or like, I think it's like some just random fucker berating me, and I go around to like backhand him. But like, if you're going to follow, shut the fuck up and escort me, and I'll keep walking. As you wish. Hey, Horn, you know there's a quickling following this group at this point. <clears throat> Uh, how close is the nearest person? I want to make sure that it's it. Like I said, the town itself is at this point is mostly empty. It seems like most people are on their rest cycle. It'd be the equivalent of my of the material plane, although like I said, there's not night and day here. <clears throat> well, then he'll just say in a low whisper, "I do believe we have a common friend." That low whisper proceeds to speak at regular volume, classically. Okay. Right. I think I'm back. I'll like tilt my head to like give him like a nonchalant like fuck you response, but I'm like actively trying to point in the direction of all the fucking familiars watching us, like on the roofs and shit. Colin, am I in a position that I can hear them? You're pretty close enough. Well, it depends on how how loud they're talking. If they're not whispering, you, if they're whispering, you probably can't hear them. Do but, I have? But I will say, I will say, Ito, uh, or do I have like a glamour or something? You 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 were just Ito, but uh, like I said, the Bear King basically gave you sort of peasant's clothing, burlap clothing to keep you warm, okay. um, to put over like your armor and stuff. It was like big baggy. It's the, it was almost like a burlap sap to throw over yourselves. Because you're posing as a peasant, but he probably would not want you to get rid of all your weapons and armor. So he's giving you stuff to cover it. Yeah, so, uh, full disclosure, mild plumbing emergency, so if I have to just vanish, I'm sorry, but I think we're good. But it's plumbing, so... <laughs> you should hire a plumber. Christopher Plumber. Mm -hmm. Well, my lady, I hope you don't mind me being too persistent, but we definitely need to get a move on. Come, come. I know that... I'm sure your family is waiting. Yeah, yeah. Does Jorge know that I'm not a servant? Probably not. Um, I have already... I, I, no, once. I can already tell you, absolutely not. Yeah. To, to get us in, I said that they made me late, and it pissed... They're making me late, and it pisses me off. And then I said, he may be a useless piece of shit human, but he can play a loot. And if you don't that, like that, you can beat him up. That being Basically. said, Aruna... The mm -hmm. little bit of surprising point is that he has said that you're... There's a, a moon elf family here. In the... You didn't know that. Not, not okay. for sure. Not for sure, so that confirms... Okay, so, uh, are there other clans other than my own that are Moon Elf specifically? There are other clans, but they are lesser clans. Okay. Not nearly as powerful. They don't have the sort of organization that you do, or anything like that. Um, they are a little bit more of a... There's certainly not anything organized as like a um, Shadow Court of the Court of Stars. Gotcha, gotcha. Well... As we move along, so I'll kind of like casually say to our Eladrin friend, the mutual friend aspect of our relationship still stands, but they know me for sure, so you may want to keep your distance. Say, have, well, at the same time, Aruda doesn't know that for sure. You can ask him mm. about specifics of this family. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, he might know specifics, huh? He might I'm know. concerned. I'm concerned about the familiars, though. They are watching you, ever watching you. Yeah. The, I mean, the Moonlit King and the, uh, the Gloaming Court is filled with all sorts of adequate magic users, and, you know, Find Familiar ain't exactly a high level spell, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna burn the berries because they're free, because they're completely free. So I'll burn one of my own sending uh, to shoot back to our elf friend. 
and be like, as much as you know about the family of Mudo's in there that you can read like 20 words, think carefully. Get a word counter app off of Google. If you if you would like to type it, Lou, that is fine also, because I'm going to write it down. I will, I will, if you want to type it so it'll be in permanence, I'll allow you. I'm going to get some tea, so Lou, feel free to take your time to type it out and really think about what you want to say to her. Oh, she's asking about specifics about the moonlit, or, or not the moon, the moon elf family. I will be right back. Oh, fuck! It, it, All right, what, what, what's Foundry the message? Now. What's the message in, it's it's in, in Foundry, okay. Yep, we're fucked. All right. Lou, you had an opportunity to make this real fucking easy, and you decided no. What do what you mean? He could have made it more difficult well, by lying to you. It, you? You couldn't have made it more easy if I, as if I had read Aruna's backstory to uh, read to Lou himself. Lou, Lou, uh, Lou had a moment where he realized that Reed isn't here, and therefore isn't in danger. <laughs> that is a. Uh... Terrible thing to hear, Aruna. While, while Ito doesn't hear, Ten certainly Heesby doesn't. And as soon as you hear that Atlas, your father, your mother Kamari are there, and they're trying to make your beloved younger sister Sarune into that of the Snow Queen by performing the Gloom Sacrament. All of your worst fears are, are confirmed. Things that you had suspected. It all comes together. Okay. Boy, it's almost like this was planned and put together. Okay. No. Almost like we have a great DM who knows how to string all this along. You, you have so, heard, but 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 uh, your your other siblings, Ilke and Bedar, they are not. Wrong. They are not. Ooh. They're not always around. They come and go. Okay. But did, did I get from the message that they're not here currently? Or is, or is it from, like from the From the message, it was implied that at least your father and mother are here. Your siblings... Um, not so much. You don't know. But okay. the fa your father and mother absolutely are here. Right. Within the court. Okay, well, there's no fucking hiding from that. Yes, uh, there's, there's, uh, in your current state, there is no hiding from that. They would absolutely recognize you, no matter what. Okay, uh, I'm gonna actually get Bert to come down to me, whether these familiars are watching or not at this point. I say, you, uh, sort of, Bert flies down to your shoulder, and you can't help but feel like the birds are watching. They notice that. Mm -hmm. Everything is noticed. At this point, you are under basically security cameras. Okay. Always. I, I will look at him, and I'll ask if he found her when I asked him to go out and look. Uh, what, who was her exactly? I went to... One, I wanted him to just go to the court, and second, to see if he could find my sister. Um, are, are you... Not, yeah. Yeah, just, in other words, just him, like, scouting around, not, like, going into buildings, if there's any chance that he actually physically saw her. Like, uh, uh you're asking about, uh... The sister that is currently being presented as a bride. No, he did not see her. I was saying, because, okay. uh, I can't remember, I think Ilke was a sister and Bedar was a brother, or...? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't know, so... I, I didn't say that to you, but now it's, like, a rune. Yeah. I can't remember... Um, Ilke was was a sister, and Bedar was a brother. Or are they both brothers, or both sisters, or? Because I, I, yeah, uh, blah, 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 I believe the final draft was three sisters, one okay. older brother. I believe um, they're so all just moon names from different languages. Yeah. So. Okay. So, so who's... <laughs> yeah, you you just told me it was children. So yeah, yeah. I mean, I uh, I don't. I also I within the the basic of Aruna's story, I don't. I think Ilke I, I have down as as a sister, but Badar is just the third born. Yep, I will check. Okay, so and there's case, not there's not an actual gender attached to Badar. J j just do the same. Just replace sons with children. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just fair. children. I got you. 
I'll verify as we continue on. But I mean, there's there's no hiding. Yeah, Il Ilke is definitely written down as a sister. Bedar, I was unsure of. Uh, I believe Bedar should be the older, the older brother that can't do magic. Or is not very adept in magic. B Bedar, so uh, for Bedar, I have the third born and unfortunately most like Arona's father, both in coolness, yep. intelligence, and raw magical ability. Oh, never mind. Was it uh, was it the sister? I've got it backwards. Um, Sorry. Ilke is born name. shortly after Aruna and expected to pick up where her sister had failed, so that tells me Ilke is a girl. Possessing okay. almost no arcane knowledge, but a wonder knack for brute strength. Yep, okay. I got him backwards. And Sarune is the backup daughter, which was a terrible way to put it. Jesus. Uh, I wrote it from the standpoint of my in-game dad, if he were to label the children. Yes, oh, and then uh, Aruna is yep. the, the wonderkin that has run away, essentially. Yep, I, was, I for some so I had written two drafts of the the siblings. That's why I was confused. But you are right. Making his uh, his his self insert with daddy issues. Even so, <laughs> even so. Sorry. The mere mention of those names, Aruna. Is enough to draw. It's enough to draw him in. He knows. Absolutely, he knows your family. There can be no, absolutely no doubt. Um, that uh, Hayhorn, at the very least, knows him, knows you, and he hasn't. He hasn't completely given away your position. He's he's at every opportunity to. He could have gone to Rivkus and said, "Oh my God." These are spies. And yet he has not. Okay, so I know they're watching, but do I get the impression they can hear us? Watching for- seeing volume? you- seeing you for sure. Hearing you... Maybe... You're all out- like I said, right now you're out on the streets. You're in the open. Hear you, okay. possibly. See you, definitely. You're not sure, though. Gotcha. It would be... Right. Uh, they, you can whisper, maybe. But, like I said, you're out in the open. If you, you could theoretically try to find somewhere a little bit more covered than the like main street leading up, leading up to the uh, central castle. Okay. Well, I'm going to still head towards the castle because... The, otherwise they'll come find us, but I'll try to get like a little alcove or an opening to kind of go off to the side for a second. There's a small, a uh, uh, you, you walk forward maybe a hundred feet, you see what appears to be a like alleyway, essentially. Um, that is, a, it's pretty secluded. It's a little bit out the way. If you go in this alleyway, however, you get the feeling they might not hear you, but they're going to notice you going into it. That could mean nothing, that could mean everything. Or you could try to stealthily go into it without being noticed, but that would be a stealth roll. I'm just gonna go into it normal. Alright. Keysby, you've been darting along. Yes. You've been, you've, you, you're surprised to see this Aladrin come up to him, uh, Aruna and Ito. You do know that you do have an Erladrin contact. Um, but you're unsure if this is him. Even so, Aruna and Ito almost... Or at least Aruna seems to um, trust them. To have them come along with him. And soon they dart into an... They, they don't dart into an alleyway, but they pass through an alleyway. Heading towards the castle. I need everybody to make stealth checks. Everybody. Please be not not approach Jorge and say he profiles at midnight. There, Jorge. there is no, there is no sort of combination, no, no assured, absolutely one hundred percent way. Now Hayhorn oh. knows that he's supposed to be meeting a quickly. That's That's all he to be knows. The way around. Colin, can you just roll for me since I'm not in my room? Or, or, or uh, uh, let me roll that properly. Yeah, they've got a. They've got a very vague idea that they're supposed to be meeting someone, 
Um, Hayhorn knows he's supposed to be meeting someone from the win from the Autumn Court. Um, he doesn't know exactly what race. Um, and uh, Keesby knows he's supposed to be meeting a a ladrin of the Winter Court of some kind. That, that being said, a uh, uh, a quickling would absolutely be a member of the Autumn Court. Got an eleven. This is a group six. check, so. I got 24. Like, really that's eight, really it's, that's 18. Ignore it. I got an 11. And 19. Because I'm wearing a skin. Right, so you have disadvantage, so it's 11. A 19. Got uh, keys be probably rolled through the roof. 19. Uh, what, what did, uh, what did Hayhorn get? I got the 19. Okay, what did, uh, Aruna get? 24? Oh. 24. I rolled a disadvantage first for some reason. All right. Well, well, like I said, if you're wearing some sort of heavy armor, it could be disadvantage. But um, 24, it's enough for the group to pass as you sort of dart into an alleyway, and you, well, you do know there are familiars around you. You get the, you don't see anyone, any of them like leering down at you. Mm -hmm. God, we get, we gotta, we gotta keep. The theatrics up. I'm gonna look like I'm scolding the fuck out of Ido and this guard guy. Oh, this is delicious. This is a delicious is beer. It? The fuck? Oh. I am I am currently drinking Sierra okay. Nevada Wonderland, which is a nectarine Wonderland. ale. Sounds good. It tastes Sierra like peaches. Sierra Nevada is hitting this for me. Today's I like IPAs. Sierra Nevada. Nevada, Wonderland, Nectarine Ale. Came, came to me in the sampler pack of Sierra Nevada. Alright, you all sort of get away. And at this point, uh, uh, Keysby, you're able to finally get up with the group, no longer having to tell them. You, Like I said, you're in an alleyway. While you, the familiars are around, you've managed to at least briefly evade them. You know that there will not be a long time, so you do not have a lot of time to confer with each other. I'll say maybe nice. maybe five minutes worth of time. Okay. Okay, he's B. I'm timing um, five minutes, so. Okay, he's B. This is the important part for you. Yes. If you want to leave now and not die, that's okay. I understand. This is nuclear not nuclear meltdown that's not real terms this is worst case scenario they're performing a sacrament in which a member of my clan is going to be made to be his bride that is what i know for sure i don't know past there we might be able to get documents to something else ito the chance of death is astronomically high at this point the literal worst person that could be here is here on top of whatever forces they have inside. To confirm the Bear King told us to collect information. You have that well, information. Please. I don't give two shits what he wants. I have something I want and I care about. So if you're coming, you're coming. If you're not, run away with Keysby. Keysby, no run away. I mean, Keysby! I'll come along, but. One minute has passed. You okay, really should kill yourself in your own time. Well. You could have stayed at the Bear King's court. Aruna Anyways. helped. Aruna helped Bear King. He's be only fair. We helped a member of the Bear King's court, not the Bear King directly. Anyway, what that constitutes fuck? helping Bear King. Okay, as, as short a sentences as you can. Weird guard guy that's following us. I assume you're here with the the little floaty dude. I am here on my own, Hellard. But yes. I do believe he is meant to be my contact. Okay. okay. Well, I have made a terrible mistake. Being and I don't make mistakes. I could not hear. Are we being tracked by the hundred familiars? We are darted in an alley stealthy for time being, where they can't hear us. That Two minutes has passed. Okay. Ito, this is gonna sound jack shit crazy. They already know who I am. But I'm going in anyway. I need to make 100% sure who I think is here is actually here. Past there, I don't really have a plan. 
but if the opportunity arises to get out with her and I can't get out, you leave me behind. I Do you understand this? Won't, but okay. Well, that's what it might come to. Is this a rescue mission or an assassination? There is almost no chance that we would be able to fight him. They fight. Think of what I can do, but ten times worse. Um, that That is an apt description. I can slow him down or stop him temporarily, but even then, I'm not sure. Okay? So it's a rescue mission. Ideally, but I have no idea where he is. Uh, so I will make for everyone a little illusionary bust of my sister's head. Uh, and, like, the details of her face and what she looks like. Okay. Uh, so that they all know. And I'll be like, this is who we're after. <laughs> if we can get her out, ideal. If we can't, <laughs> well, we'll try at a later date. You do I manage to, to you that I roughly craft what before. appears to be the bust of your sister's head. She, uh, has a very similar appearance to you. It, it takes a little bit of time to do. Um, to correctly craft it, um, but she is, uh, like Aruna, there's something that is both distant and cold, at the very same time something beautiful as well, uh, with sort of purplish skin. And, uh, I don't know what Aruna's hair color is, I believe it was like silver or something. Uh, her hair is dark. Mm -hmm. um, has Aruna you, uh, mentioned her name? You've got one more minute. Or mentioned, has Aruna mentioned uh, your, her sister's name? Uh, is that uh, Serune or something? Yes, it is Serune. Well, I regret to inform you that if she is here, I have yet to see her. They've been doing quite a good job of keeping her under wraps. Key Keysby will find her. The, simply put, I think if Thirty you seconds. two are going to help, if you two are going to help, I need to go confront them, and you need to do the finding. Because they know who I am, they don't know necessarily who you are, or will suspect a guard wandering around. Huh. I point at Lou. Lou. Get me inside. I find her. I cast protection for evil and good on t -speed. Okay. Boy, I'm gonna need super protection from evil and good if I want to get out of here alive. There is a fluttering of wings as you see what appears to be several crows and owls looking down at you from the nearby eaves of the rooftops. As uh, your time is up, do I notice I, this? You absolutely notice okay. this. This is not I, something that is hidden or any in any way, shape, or form. I hit Ido in the stomach, <laughs> like I'm beating his ass. So I am going to bolt away and hide with part All of right. my movement. Yep. Give me and a then with the other give me with the check. other part, I want to sneak in to uh, Highhorn's clothes. And hide hide amongst him. Yes, yeah, stealth check. This is a straight stealth check because it's rolled against their advantage. Because there's many owls here that would have advantage on the perception. So it's just against them. Oh boy, they roll e even with their they rolled a one. So ha, get fucked, retard birds. I sh I, sh I I I drop trow and I moon all of them in the middle of this. Well, that, I that, like to... you don't do that, but you do manage to dart away. <laughs> I, I like to imagine they're all moon elf owls and they're like relaying information and they all look and they see me and they're like, the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I want to be the one to kick Ito. Imagine the face of the people that the owls are looking through. <laughs> they're like, are those testicles? Jesus Christ. You know what's fucked up? I'm watching The Breakfast Club and Ali Sheedy was super hot back in the day. Not the first time I've heard Colin say this in the middle of the game. It is true. <laughs> That's definitely not the first time I've heard Colin say this. She's, she's very attractive. She's not, she's not very attractive anymore. She did not age well. No, I was never a Molly <laughs> Ring. I was never a Molly Ringwald. I was an Ally Sheedy. Oh, no, you, look, no, nobody listens nobody. to these D and D games. They're for my own personal remembrance, so I can listen to them and bring them up later. Where the Colin can just, you know, plow through them and distribute some free literature. All right. Keysby, oh, you dart into the uh, into hiding within the sort of robes 
that surround Aruna as the birds, uh, the owls. No, 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 no not Aruna. Uh, amongst Highhorn. Uh, in Highhorn, um, as you dart into his uh, sort of presence, as the birds, the familiars of the Winter Court, look down on you, watching you. You can feel their eyes piercing into you, although you don't mess. They don't seem to react. Aruna, what do you do? There's only you get the feeling you're at a make or break point. Put your head down, barrel forth, knowing that your family, your father, is in here. This is within the court of the Winter King, Moonlit King. I keep calling the Winter King, the Moonlit King and the Snow Queen. Gotcha. He's there. He's in there, and he would absolutely recognize you. That's fine. Your mother is there as well. She would absolutely recognize you. Your brother and sister may be there. They would absolutely recognize you. Recognize you. Even so, your wonderful sister Sarune, who was always a good soul, perverted by your father, just as he tried to do with you. She may very well be there as well. Calm down, Tommy. I'm trying to fucking set the scene. Yeah, I'm thinking to myself. You're fine. It all lies before you. And yet, at the same time, you can turn and walk away. You do have a way out. Absolutely, you have a way out that you can go. You know that you can escape through the inn that lies within the town, whose name I'm not going to try to remember off the top of my head, but I can look it up later. It's there. You have a way out, you have a way in. You stand at a crossroads. And while I say that as if there's a real choice, I don't, you know, I don't suspect there is really one, considering your character's personal backstory. Uh, but okay. I, have pre I have presented you a crossroads. If Aruna mm -hmm. wants to go in a different direction, and say, I want to focus on saving the world instead of focusing on saving my family. That is something she could do. The, the one bit of confirmation I need to know is I told Ito to go with the other two. Is Ito actually going to do that? Oh, 100% absolutely not. I, I'm, I'm going with Aruna. Okay. Well, I will see the, the Parade of Owls, and I will just walk quietly and gently towards them, and I will head towards just... the castle. I'm right, uh, Keysby, give Keys me a stealth check. Keysby? Yep. A this second is... stealth check? Yes, this is this is your normal stealth check. It has an advantage. There's gonna be a lot of 25? stealth checks for Keysby, not gonna lie. 25. Alright, uh, oh. as they depart the alleyway, you uh, remain hidden within the shadows, allowing them to get a little bit of distance on you. Where you begin oh, darting. No, I'm, I want to stay on his person the whole time. Oh, you're 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 staying on. Uh, mm -hmm. High home. That would that I, that that's I, just I, gonna be a straight stealth check instead of one with advantage. I mean, that was still the same roll. Right. Um. Like I said, you 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 staying on his person makes the, it's significantly more difficult. But you're good at stealth. That is your that is what you've been sort of trained to do. Created. That's what you've been uh, rolled up to do, to be really, really good at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, like, I, like I said, I don't know if you caught it. I, I, told, I pointed at Lou, I was like, you can, if you get me in, I'm going to find her, period. But you need to get me inside. You have met your contact, Heinhorn. You're pretty sure at this point. This was the uh, member of the Autumn Court that you were told you're probably going to have to meet. While you weren't given a specific race, you do know that quicklings are not members of the Winter Court. Quicklings are members. Quicklings he are members me by now. of the Spring Court, but they're not members of the Winter Court or the Summer Court. And so, judging by if the he wasn't my contact, he absolutely would have killed me. Is what you're saying? Yes. But judging by the nature of uh, Keysby. His alliance to you, at the very least, he's serving your purpose of being an ally. So you suspect this is your contact. In fact, I would say you're pretty sure this is your contact. 
Blue, I think that's your contact. I, it is your contact. I, there's no need to draw it out. It's your fucking contact. The, what? You mean the person being played Was I supposed to give him information, or was he supposed to contact? give me the information? I'm no, neither of you has much... Uh, the, the two of you only had a vague idea how to come together. There was no 100% confirmation on either one of you. Um, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is, that was, was he supposed to feed me a specific bit of information, or was I supposed to give him... He, he is feeding you information. Specifically, Heinhorn is uh, feeding you information as to what is going on within the Winter Court. And he has. He has told you that currently the Winter King oh, is told. looking for a bride to increase his power. Yes. And it wants, they wanted to be Aruna's sister. Vaguely, yeah. They, even though you don't know Aruna, they want to be Aruna's sister. That is known. That, he has passed that on to you. So you've technically completed your mission. Okay. That being yeah, said, I, there's still a lot like of said, left before you. I still, I, like, I, like I told Aruna, I, Keys, Keysby's gonna stay, because she helped Bear King. Bear King helped her. And Keysby will stay as assistants. All right. If shit gets bad, Keysby's also one hundred thousand percent ready to like skedaddle. GTFO. Fuck. Fuck you. Runs away. <laughs> All right. It's Aruna. hard to beat a two hundred and forty Ito speed dash. Or or uh, Aruna. Mm -hmm. Ito. Einhorn. Ito. Ito's gone. Einhorn. Whatever your name is. Whatever you wish it should be. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I really care about this character. Hey, hey Horn. Hi, Horn. I can own it, Lou. You approach a massive wall standing 25 feet tall, glittering silver specked marble that encompasses the castle itself. True court. The Moonlit King. The portacolis itself is made of mithril, and standing out front of it, Moonlit King's elite guard. They are called uh, the Mare Imperturbium. They wear what appears to be black armor. They are absolutely his most elite troops, and not ones to be easily fooled. Even so, as they look at you, Aruna hesitates. My lady, what are you doing outside the castle grounds? Okay. So, so what I've gathered from these interactions is, they know I'm Moon Elf, but they don't know which Moon Elf I am. They're not. They don't know who you are, but well they know informed. you are a Moon Elf. Okay. Well, it's um, not safe out here amongst the rabble. Well, if you would just take me back to my uh, chambers, I would be oh. much happier. Oh boy. Of course, my lady. We can escort you to your chambers at once. Would you like Good your on. servants to join you, or should we show them to the servants' quarters? Well, while this guard has been disrespectful, he's very useful at carrying things. And the other one, I enjoy his music, but once he's not able to play anymore, I'll get rid of him. But uh, they can come for now. Alright, so you would have them escorted to the quarters of yourself instead of the servants' quarters, that's what you're saying. Like I said, and there's a I'm... servants' quarters and there's a noble quarter. I'm in the mood for a boot cleaning and uh, some music. That is enough for them. They seem to defer to you completely. As a moon elf, they sort of nod your head, their heads. As they turn, as uh, he says, "It says, I'll escort you myself, my lady." And he turns and he walks away, sort of motioning, "Come on now, ain't no par fancy parties tonight. Although there will be one in the morning, lasting throughout the whole day." I do look forward to it. 
Well, I should imagine you do. Um, and he sort of turns away. He talks about uh, the food they're going to be serving at the party. All sorts of uh, interesting roast meats. He says, I even they they're going to have a little bit of roast deer. Can't complain about that now, can you, lady? Uh, no. No, I can't. So, as... As, as we're getting as asked, how, how, is, you guys how, how, how does that man say deer? Because that sounded suspicious. Can I get a read on that? Sure. Roll an insight check. I know animals are, like, special here. I got a 14. It seems like he's, they're carving up their own mounts for specialty dinners. As dear mm. Ari mounts here. Ew. Ooh. Okay. Jeez. It's, I don't know why, but that's particularly gruesome. It is particularly gruesome, but they're trying to be particularly accommodating to this Moon Elf family. Okay, uh, so... Yeah. The... 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 the, the uh, this is going to be such a weird question. When I left... Was my sister in a state of indoctrination, or was she still fairly free-willing? Oh, she was absolutely in a state of indoctrination. They'd been working on her just in case. Well, they absolutely would have been. They, You had shown signs of a little bit of rebellion. And as good. soon as you saw showed the first, even minor sign, they would have worked on your sister, just in case. Okay. I, uh, your your well, father is an absolutely sort of ab like closed fisted dictator. Gotcha. As soon as you saw any rebellion, he would have said, "All right, I'm still have hope for you." But he started working on your sister as soon as you yeah. showed any rebellion. Okay, I'm not gonna do what I was gonna do. Oh, I will say, and your sister was much more pliable pliable than you were. Mm -hmm. Okay. She is hot. Also, uh, Aruna's sister is hot. Good to know. She's a moon elf. And she, she doesn't have a gimpy arm, too. It's true, yeah. she has both her arms. That means she I... can go couch skiing. That's that's the highest quality moon elf from the king can get. He, he leads you onwards. Um... To the nobles' quarters, um, through the courtyard. Um, it's much like the outside. There are various ice sculptures here. They don't like have hedge sculptures. They have ice sculptures here, all very well crafted and beautiful. Within the actual castle itself, they depict things less severe than swords or uh, hammers on anvils. These are all beautiful angelic beings, essentially with wings of. Uh, gla uh, almost crystalline ice that appears to be like glass all around the courtyard as he leads you to the nobles. There's no celebration tonight, although you do know there is one that is going to be on the morrow. And as he leads you through the quarters, Runa, it seems quiet. It's a long hallway with several doors that are basically suites for guests. And as you're walking down them, a door opens. And you see a woman steps out, her head sort of turned down. Hair, silver, skin a purplish blue. She has the faint look of a faint look of distance in her eyes. You immediately recognize that it is your mother. Okay, we're gonna go for the biggest D and D long shot of my life. I'm gonna cast sending to my mom. Earlier. Yeah, well, I wanted to make sure. Okay. Let me, there let was me a chance. Was there was a chance she wasn't here. You didn't know. Yeah. But you have yeah, now you... seen her step out of a suite, her head downturned, her eyes lowered. 
a, a, a look that you've grown accustomed to, that has grown more and more co that grew more and more common in your time. She became more and more sort of under the under the, the thumb of your father, Atlas. You used to be, like I said, like you said, once she was once once proud and wild, but under her your father, she became more and more sort of cow out essentially. Okay. Under control. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh, Christ. Okay, this is... This is a long shot, Colin. I'm gonna use sending on her. And I'm gonna say, if you're still in there, and you hate him like I do, if you want your daughter safe, you will keep him distracted. That's all I'll say. Well, she can't return a message. It's, uh, uh, it's ascending, so... She almost immediately stops, and she's clutching the doorknob. Hear her say, Leave. Leave now while you have the chance. He's always watching. Okay. They're always watching. And you don't have to roll an insight for who they are. You know that Ilke and Badar absolutely be under the thrall of Atlas as his children. So they're watching too. Any familiars they have, they're watching. That's fair. Well, I'll just keep letting the guard escort me, I guess. But she doesn't acknowledge you. Keeps her head downturned and you pass by her. There's a very... S you can feel the, the punch in your gut as you see what your mother has been forced to. What she's diminished to. Under the, the thrall of your terrible father. The guard shows you your room. Right here, miss. Uh, he opens the door and says, Not much in the way of amenities, but it's comfortable enough. It's, you need someone to serve you. I imagine you've got to send your servant out. The servant's quarters are down near the kitchens. I imagine you don't want him to sleep with you. That'd be crazy. And he sort of eyes you as if he's like, after every he says crazy, like, Do something like that? You let a servant... Be in your room with you? He's like eyeing you up. Well, I mean, I can hear music through the door. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> right. Well, I'll see you on the morrow, my lady. Give him a nod. He nods his head and he turns and walks out the door. I will blow fighting to not laugh. Mm hmm. Okay, is, uh, immediately, what is, she's not in the room proper, right? No, she, she left the room. Oh, I meant, so my sister is not in the chamber that he just opened for me, thinking that I, I'm her. No. Okay. It's your own sure. room. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh. Okay, so okay, this yeah, guy just doesn't know how many of us there are and what we look like, necessarily. Not, not really. Are we alone in this room? Yes, you are alone You're in this room. As far as you can tell. As far as you can tell. Immediate perimeter check for fucking look holes, uh, alarm spells, anything. Uh, roll an arcana check. And unseen servants. I also detect magic. Well, do, as soon, if, you, if you cast detect magic, you can see the room. Where is that gonna be? I okay. mean, it's casting a spell, detect magic. I got a 15. You could ritual cast it, though. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's gonna be glaring. It's probably gonna be glaringly fucking obvious in a magic the, castle. The walls fucking light up. As if they were yeah. made, absolutely made of sunlight. There's tons of spells on these walls. Um, you can see there are runes of forbiddance to peak can stop people teleporting in or out there's runes of alarm there's runes of detection there's even runes of protection and you see it's against pretty much anything that's not fey um runes of protection against uh demons celestials 
that sort of thing. Just, just covering the walls. It's a fortress. Gotcha. This is a fortress. Okay. There's also runes of observation. You're, mm -hmm. You see the much to your chagrin. People apps. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't say people can absolutely listen in, but someone can listen in to you. Anything that's said within this room. Unless you disable the runes of observation. But disabling them? Tricky thing. You can do it, but it might observe. Or it, it might alert observers if you don't do it carefully. Okay. It, it is as you would expect. It is a castle under the thrall of a moonlit king. He likes to know the business of the people going on inside his castle. Fair. But there's all sorts of like... observation rooms, divination rooms. Okay. I, I will go into the room. I'll look at Ito, and I'll look at my new old lodger and friend, and I'll be like, Well, you know what to do. And then I'll close the door for now. And at least play the part. Uh, right. Hey, I'll, hey, uh, say, uh, I'll say, uh, my lady. I want my you know, sing and whatnot. And then he'll, uh, going to make my way down the hall. Downtown. Make my With, way downtown. Uh, the quickling. He I was like, what is Keys be doing? I do believe he's in my cloak. He is hi you're all there. hiding together. Uh, I'm still hiding amongst Blue's garb trying to be trying to be like super Super quiet and sneaky, because now now is not the time to reveal oneself. Probably a wise choice in reality. But yeah, Hayhorn will start to uh, walk around a bit, grumbling a bit about the fact that another guard had to walk us to the chambers. I know he's part of this elite squad, but come on, I know my way around a castle. Fair enough. Fair enough. That does seem to. Uh, oh my god, I saw a ghost walk by Tommy's camera. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never had a wife. I've only bound a spirit to my home. I, something strange. My wife is this guitar back here. She's Boston. sharp and pointy and makes calluses. She's a Ibanez hollow body, which is not a high, expensive guitar, but I do like playing it. Apparently, Squirrely Dan is doing Father's Day cameos. Hell yeah. Buy me one. Let's buy me one. Can you, can you buy me a cameo of Felicia Day telling me I'm not ugly? <laughs> oh, 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 this this is a, a point of note for wizardry nonsense. Uh, so the berries, I assume, count as fey magic, right? Yes, they are mad, fey magic. And I know the runes only block stuff that isn't fey, right? Uh... Yes, essentially. So Fey Magic would still work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the berries I, uh, would still work in there. Is okay. the Holy Symbol doing anything funky in this castle? Fortress. Uh, not particularly. Like I said, like, yeah. the Green Lady Symbol is uh, not present, which you get the feeling, n now that you've learned backstory of the Fey Lady, or, or the Green Lady. Wait, 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 you, you say not present, do you mean like it's hiding? Like it's phys it's physically removed itself. It's physically from removed there. itself. You get the feeling, understandably, why, considering the the circumstance of the Green Lady, she would not be present within the Feywild. That may very well attract attention of the Spring Court, which would be very bad for her. She is supposed to be dead. She's not supposed to be having exiled herself to the Material Plane. Um. But a very Say. interesting, a very interesting thing for Ito, but tell, don't tell. not so much for the the Green Lady. You, she, she, at this point, Ito at least probably has the vague understanding of why she's not present here, and she's relying. He's relying on Saint Cuthbert, who is as powerful as ever here. Got it. So yes, that's whenever you inspect your holy symbol, that's what you feel. No green lady, all Saint Cuthbert in this in, in the Feywild. 
I have completely forgotten what the fuck is going on because I've had too much to drink. Uh, they're Arun they're looking the for Eat my sister. Music. You haven't seen I'm your sister. Around oh, I'm saying cause... they're they're the. Uh, Quickling and uh, well, they're, they're our Ladrin right. friend are no, looking. No, no signs of your sister. Fortunately, she so, does not. She herself, does, Sarune, does not seem to be present. So I, to communicate with Highhorn, I, uh, like scrawl uh, common letters. Well, no, I wouldn't know Sylvan. I, I scrawl like Sylvan, on his, on his, like somewhere on his. Where he could. Are you, are you writing on his neck? I imagine I'm probably writing amongst his cloak. Like, are you scratching his neck? Is that what you're saying? Because you, you keep cutting out. My the the pusher talk's weird, but yeah, I like I write somewhere. I think I'm on his back or something. I don't know where it would be best amongst his clothes. Yeah, just like I want to keep covered. You you just keeping covered with him, sort of wrapped in his cloaks. Yeah. So, you could probably like, like, be like right next to his ear. I'm not. I don't think I'm that small. You're. I mean, you're two feet tall total, so you could like sit. The, here. the, the point. The point is, you're there with him. You're able to communicate. Yeah, I'm. With hit, him. I'm hidden, and I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm like not speaking. I'm. I'm writing, the writing in Sylvan on him to to communicate. Um, and I was like, where do you know where she would be? Likely with the, if she were here, she would be with the king of the Moonlit King, as his consort, his direct consort. Where, Highhorn, where is the Moonlit King? In his chambers, likely to emerge tomorrow with the feast and the celebration that's going on. Is Highhorn the DM now? Well, I'm telling you, he, he probably would not have been informed. Lou has not been informed okay. of this. He got told of the family yeah. and what's going on, but he wouldn't know exactly the answers to yeah, questions little... that's going on. I would. What's the plan, Lady Bits? That's are you. you, are you, are you... Are you trying to talk to me through the fucking door like a servant shouldn't do? Beat him! Beat him! Weird back. You're, you're like outside of the door, so you're just like whispering into the fucking room. Oh, I thought that we all went in together. I'm sorry. No, he said it would be weird to have a <laughs> fucking servant in my room, so I was like, he plays out in the hallway. Uh, well, then fucking, I'll message you. Let's fucking go. Yeah. You can try. Are you using a message spell, or are you taking one of the message fairies? I would use a message cantrip. Alright. My poor dog got a bath, and she is upset. Because she wants to go outside, run, and play, but she cannot, because she is wet. You're wet. That's why you can't go play. Don't look at me like that. What do you? Why do you message her? Oh, I just had to like, let go. We gotta go. Like, the longer we stay here, the closer unto death we march. Let's get the fuck out. It's fair. What just happened to Nick? He's probably getting he's back right on the computer. Oh. Well, simply put, Ito, I haven't seen her, and I don't have confirmation, 100%. So we either march to the Moonlit King, or we march to my dad. But I'm not leaving. If I may make a suggestion that you won't like... 
The easiest way to find out the location of a noble family is to inform the peasantry that one of them is missing. Well, to be honest with you, I think we damn well know where she is, but you pick your poison. Either we both go, or I distract them and you go. For the record, Tommy, regardless of what Rita has said, Ito has no reason to be afraid of this guy. Well, are you... You seemed bewildered at the Feywild bullshit that we're in. And she's literally hand-in-hand hand with the king of Feywild bullshit. And on top of that, got a very high-level spellcaster, much stronger than I am. Oh my god, I saw a ghost walk next to Tommy. Mm-hmm. It's the, it's the ghost of... It's Aruna's spirit leaving her body because getting at Ito to do anything is fucking flailing <laughs> I'm just saying, like... I... Hard choices. How do you go about this situation? Simply put, Ito, they already know I'm here. They've seen me. The chance of me leaving here unscathed, not very high. Chance of you and our friends... Slightly higher. So you make your choice now. You either help me or you leave. We've already marched against a necromancer who summoned an army of the fucking dead. Uh, Eco, roll a perception check. Yeah. You're outside, Rice. You're outside the door outside the of Ito's, of Aruna's room, yes? Noise. 17. Did you see a uh, sort of worried looking um, Kamaria slip into her room? Soon after, Soon after, a moon elf emerges. He is a rather put together looking fellow. He wears beautiful tailored robes of umber blue and they are all covered with runes of night moon runes and glow and glitter he seems no taller than Aruna and yet even so despite his relatively small size he seems to take up the entirety of the hallway as if darkness seems to fold around him as he makes his way towards you. As he approaches, oh. can I, uh, can I kind of lean against the door and tap my foot twice? Yes. Make a stealth check. Do I have disadvantage if I'm not trying to move silently? Just make a stealth check. 18. All right. There's a tap on the door, Aruna. A very sort of nervous tap. This man I'm walks up to Ito. A look on his... A look of... You're not sure of the look on his face, actually. It's annoyed. Determined. Well, uh... I will... Uh... Lean against the door act like I'm getting comfortable, notice him, fall, you know, full attention. H have I seen how the Winter Court supplicates himself? Do they bow? Do they kneel? What do they do? They, uh, you've not really seen it, but they generally just keep the, their head low. Sure. I mean, obviously I'm clearly not from here, so I'm not going to They sure as hell don't I make eye contact. Sure. I'll bow low and I'll, I'll, I'll lower my eyes and, uh, um, not so low that I can't see his hands, but low enough that I'm not looking at him. And, uh, I'll say my apologies. Um, my lady is, is, uh, inside. Step aside, servant. We'll have time for me. My dog is freaking out. I didn't hear that. Step aside, servant. She'll have time for me.
I'll, uh... You get, you get the feeling, but the way he's looking at you, it's not a request. Sure, I will, uh, open the door for them, and I will step to the side of the door. Holding the door open. You do get it. Lower. it there's a quick tap on the door, Aruna. A warning, as far as you can tell by Ito, who's outside. Okay. Brief. Yes. A brief warning. How do you present yourself? Five seconds. Got like a, a couple seconds. Maybe ten seconds. Uh, okay, this this is just a uh, should I ask this sooner? So does uh, the runes prevent spell casting, or is it just stuff can't be destroyed? It does not prevent spell casting. It just prevents people transporting in or out. Okay. It prevents scrying in or scrying out, but there's not like an anti-magic field across the entirety. We've been able to cast message and stuff. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just making sure from the confines of the room. Is there just a nice chair to point in the direction of the door? Yes, there is. There's some nice, like, soft chairs you can project, project towards it. I will put a chair facing the door and a chair in front of me. And I'll sit down in the back one looking at the door. Right. You don't have to wait long before the door sort of slowly opens and you see your father standing in it. His brows furrowed. A look of annoyance, surprise, as he eyes you and raises an eyebrow. He points to you, um, Hainhorn. If I remember, I, I it's hard for me to remember your name. Hey, Horn. He says, oh. "Out." Yes, sir. Uh, he motions for you to leave the door. I will the door open for Hey, Horn, and I will. Um... Sorry, Tommy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut the door, and I'm gonna leave with Hey, Horn. All I... right. He slams the door this... behind you as we what go happened? to Aruna's Moonwell. Uh oh. Well, it was nice playing with you all. See you later. Bye. -bye. Your father looks at you as soon as the door looks down, shuts the door. He has the same look you, you're expect, uh, you're used to. Sort of annoyance, dismissal. As he sits down in the chair next to you and says why are you here you left this family uh family is a word you could use but you know it's a lie i have done nothing to hold this clan's power importance the highest regard you deserted us, left us. You could have been something incredible, something powerful. And yet you turn and run, disappear into the wilderness, leaving the importance upon your sister, thrusting it upon her even when the she... I might not necessarily have wanted it, yet she's strong enough to undertake it. So I ask again, why are you here, Aruna? Why aren't I here? There's Speak numerous reasons plainly. to kill you, to kill the Moonlit King, stop all this <laughs> bullshit. He sort of laughs at that. You expect to kill the Moonlit King in his own court, surrounded by his own guards? My, my, well, Aruna. I thought I had taught you better than that. Perhaps I made wrong choice in who was to be the powerful daughter. Well, knowing you, it's not going to stop at a marriage. I wouldn't be surprised if you're trying to kill him yourself. You misunderstand, daughter. This marriage is not just for the family, it's for all of our kind. If the Winter Court and the Moonlit King rises to power, so does our power rise. We are linked to them, you understand. The Winter Court grows strong, we grow strong. What are you gonna do, squander away your power sitting in the fucking woods? Build a damn empire! 
make the cold wood ours instead of sniveling and groveling in some remote part of it. Be a small clan beholden to the greater power of the humans that would call it home. Well, unfortunately for you and your empire idea, there's a thing, a hell of a lot scarier things out there right now, and you could be helping. Then we can help them more, should we grow to greater power. If we Victor could get more power, we could be great. We could carve out our own niche, not just be some small clan of elves, a moonborn even so. Something so small and insignificant that we are ignored. We could be the Coldwood. We could call that home. We could do me more than call that home. We could call that our kingdom. And the Empire would look to us as if we matter. You could have that not just for your family. You could have that for your clan. Your sister has seen it. Shame you did not. Well, unfortunately, I do see what you are now. And is there... I will stand up. And I will kind of, like, do a courtly bow to him. I know I can't beat you up front. So I will give you something you do want. You know I'm stronger than her, and you know what I can do. If you let her go, I will stay. He looks at you. Pull a persuasion check with disadvantage. Uh, I figured. I have family 12. Attempting offer. Daughter. But your sister has already undergone the first of the gloom sacraments. She is bathed in black moonlight. Her power ever waxes, growing stronger than yours. Well, if you won't have me for that, what becomes of me now that I'm here? nothing to be done for it. There's nothing to be done for it, my daughter. You could have risen so high. You could have been greater than any of our stars. Been greater than the moon itself. Such power you had. Such potential you had. And yet we see no other choice. Your mother... Your mother... She would not have told me of your presence if she did not disagree. I, I'm very sorry to interrupt the RP, Colin, but you cut out. You see, he essentially said that your, your mother ha would not have told him of your presence if she did not disagree with his leanings. Of course, you know that she's been basically yeah. browbeaten and agreeing with him. Well. So, in a, so, in other words, you're just going to step on everyone and everything to get what you want? If that is what I have to do to rise this family and this clan to power, then I absolutely will step on anyone and anything. If that is what it takes! Even if that means stepping on you, I most. Oh, fucking shit. This is such a bad idea, Colin. Yep. I'm gonna try to fucking punch him in his smug ass face with my gauntlet. Alright. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna go really well, I'm sure. Oh my god, no! Why'd you roll? A natural one. Seriously? Uh, yep. If to kill the kill the momentum of the moment, or poetically try to hit him, and I just fucking eat shit. He is sort of 
immediately dodge dodges out the way. Flying to the side, he says, Be it so. Guards! Guards! Um, as he calls for guards, and we can go back to the main channel at this point. I, t I tried, boys. You hear the shout of, Guards! Guards! As all of a sudden, the hallway itself is filled with Winter Eladrin. Their weapons Hello. drawn. The call for guards from Aruna's father, Atlas, having pulled them to bear. As all of a sudden, you're surrounded by the Winter Court. Do we have a moment to say what we were going to do while that door was shut? What were you going to do while the, the door was shut? I immediately pointed to the door that he came out of, and I said, check that door. You hear, uh, the door he came out, you hear a woman quietly crying. Ooh. I can't wait to grab the wrong sister. Are you guys ready for that shit? Absolutely, <laughs> let's do this. I can right. go. In which case, I mean, yeah, that then I guess Hayhorn would go over to that other door. <laughs> Sound of quiet crying. Crying. Quiet, quiet crying. <laughs> quiet crying. As you, if you bust open the door, you see an older moon elf collapsed on the bed, her eyes buried, her face buried in the pillow as she quietly cries. Is that the mother that we saw earlier? Yes, Kamaria, who has returned to her husband's room to inform her husband that Aruna is here, but she is browbeaten, she is kowtowed, she is, she's been so dominated by Atlas that she has basically Munchausen syndrome. She does whatever she yeah, whatever. he says, okay. including informing him that Aruna has arrived. There's not really much to be done here, as I know that she she, she basically shirks away from confrontation with him. Hey, up to you guys. So I mean, I mean just, that was the whole cool thing I was there. pointing out that room. But she's the only one that we see in there. Yes, she's the only one in there currently. Not the one we're looking for. Not the one you're looking for. Um. All right, all right. Hang on, nope, stop. Do I have a moment to do something really stupid before that door opens, Colin? Uh, sure. Check the box. <laughs> what, Connor? I want to cast the tech thoughts on Aruna's mother. You hear before the, the uh, we can go to a private room if you want. You hear a voice in your head that says, "I just." I can't fight him. I can't pose. He'll hurt me again, just like he, and he'll hurt all of my daughters, all of my children. I can't oppose him. She's a broken woman. And um, it says I can choose multiple targets, and I can also use this spell to detect the presence of thinking creatures I can't see when I cast the spell as your action during the duration for 30 feet around me. It can penetrate barriers of everything but two feet of rock, two inches of metal other than lead, or a thin sheet of lead that blocks you. Yep. And I don't hear any other thoughts other than I don't remember the mother's name. Uh, her Kamaria. name is Kamaria. Kamaria. Can you detect anything beyond that? Sure, sure. There's lots of people around. There's guards around within 30 feet. Um, there is Aruna's father, Atlas, that's probably within 30 feet. He seems angry, annoyed, and dismissive of Aruna. No longer is she the number one child. She's an outcast, yeah. an exile. So Rune is the number one child. Someone who, uh, a daughter has that has already undergone the first stage of the gloom, uh, of the gloom sacrament that has already 
bathed in black moonlight, and she is not here. She's already begun to undertake the second sacrament. You don't get anything more than that, however, as guards begin to surround you, as unfortunately, Atlas... Well, the attack against Atlas failed completely, the natural one. He is called for the guards. As uh, all of a sudden, well, Winter Aladdin upon, begins streaming in. Of course, upon hearing a call for the guards, I will, as a guard, go to his side. Right. Real quick, just an update. I messaged Cody. He said that he is able to be here tomorrow, as was the plan. He's not able to be here today. Okay. Who can be here tomorrow night? I am, yeah. At 8 o'clock. Eastern Standard Time. Should be able to. Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure I can. Does it, does it really matter how much more specific you get, but yes. Yes. We can be here tomorrow at 8 o'clock, and we can finish this up tomorrow at 8 o'clock. All right. The guards surround you. Um, go ahead and give me a, a deception check with advantage, Lou. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Deception with advantage. That's a 21. All right. You almost meet, as you see the guards come in, you know the writing's on the wall. As you turn and say, There's no choice. To the dungeons with you. Aruna. Ito. As the guards close, after the guards close in, you are escorted down to the dungeons. Locked up. For having attempted to assassinate a particular member of the Moonlit King's court. As the doors close and shut, you're not sure what you're going to do. We will end it right there.